So this is a live uh, coding uh, tutorial, right? So I will make a lot of mistakes and we will fix them together. And uh, I didn't uh, uh, make the code for this before. So I will rename stuff, I will change stuff. And uh, yeah, this way we can learn uh, together, right? So let's start. So like I said, um, each of our entity or object, uh, you can call this uh, you want as a definition of data right so we need to start with this because the tile label for example will have uh, will be an entity uh, will have a definition right so uh, we are going to need to make this so let's uh, open uh, uh, sublime text and uh, start uh, doing this right so we are going to make a new file called uh, I don't know. Let's make a folder called definitions and uh, def. Dot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for this, uh, we are going to use a namespace uh, file definitions. And uh, yeah. So we want to uh, make a class called def. Uh, and uh, in this class, we want a string as a unique uh, identifier. This way, uh, when we want to load the definition for the wood, we can uh, do like uh, this like, uh, dot get. Uh, UID, right? And uh, it's quite uh, cool to can uh, do this, right? Because uh, <laughs> um, if you don't uh, like, yeah, if it's just an integer, you need to do that or get, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, and that's not readable by a human. So uh, we need to convert a string to an integer for performances. And uh, we can do this uh, very easily in uh, C sharp uh, by uh, by doing this. Um, so if we uh, if we do this, uh, uh, we can just uh, do uh, we can just override the get hash code property of the object. And uh, get hash code uh, will return an integer, right, of the string UID. And uh, this way we 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 have uh, what we want. So uh, now we can uh, do stuff like new dev UID, uh, for example. Right. And uh, this will have an integer as a UID. Uh, and we want to be able to uh, serial, serialize this. Uh, yeah, fuck sublime text. <laughs> See the compilation. Um, yeah, and uh, basically that's it for our class. Um, now uh, we want uh, we want tile labels for our map, and I think we will start with this. So let's make a public class uh, tile label def uh, with some special properties. So um, hmm. actually, a tile label. What do we want on a tile label? We want a layer, right? Like I said. Um, Let's let's check my um, let's check my uh, my drawing. So uh, we want a layer for a tile table. Uh, each tile table is on a layer, and uh, also we have a position. Uh, but the position is not a definition, right? So uh, let's uh, go back to Sublime Text, right? So uh, we want some graphic data. For example, size, texture, shader, slash mat, 
material. Um, what do we want? Uh, yeah, that's it, I think. Uh, for now, we are at a lot of stuff in, in, uh, in here. But, uh, yeah, for the start, this is going uh, be fine. So we want a layer, and uh, what would be cool um, for layers is to have uh, just an enum, right? Uh, yeah. So let's make a new uh, layer.cs and namespace file.definitions and public enum layer. Or we can call this tailable layer. Yeah, layer is fine, I guess. Uh, and we're going, we are going to use a U short because uh, yeah, it's uh, we don't have many layers. So we have uh, we'll make a layer called undefined. Uh, will be the base, and this is equal to zero, right? Uh, we we have a ground layer for example for now, and uh, we have the last layer will be called Kunt. And this is a cool trick in C sharp, right? Because um, if we call now layer dot uh, and we convert this to an int, obviously, right? Uh, this will be two, and we have two uh, layers, right? Uh, this is a cool trick in C sharp. Well, I like it. Well, anyway, so I will uh, in enums. So I will always make this. It's uh, quite nice and it's really fast. So yeah. So w now we have a layer, and uh, the, that's all. Uh, so we need to add the layer to our tailable dev. Um, public layer, um, let's call this layer, right? And um, what else? Our graphic data. I think for graphic data, we can make a a subclass like graphic dev or something like this, right? And uh, what do we want? We want uh, we want a texture. Well, actually, we want a texture name. Uh, we want the material name. We want the size. Uh, it can be a vector two. We want uh, later. We want a pivot, but yeah, we'll add this later. Uh, maybe we want a color, right? A special color for yeah. If we want to colorize some stuff later, and uh, yeah, maybe we want something like draw priority or stuff like this. But we'll see that later. So uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is a true string. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, vector to size, right? And uh, color. And that's it. And uh, so we also want a graphic data. Graphic dev, sorry. <laughs> uh, and we can call this uh, graphics, right? <coughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and uh, let's start with the ground. So uh, a ground will be uh, will have a... for now is is just have nothing, but we want to be able to differentiate for tail def if we want to add some special properties. For example, later we can add uh, fertility or stuff like this, or height when we we do the procedural generation. Uh, so yeah. Uh, for for now, this is going to be, uh, and uh, we need to be able to serialize uh, 
all of this. So let's do this, let's do this. And uh, also for the layers, right? Uh, yeah, that's it for definitions. And uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, now we want, uh, because I, as I explained, uh, that's just the definition, right? But uh, everything in our. What? Uh, everything uh, is a. A tileable, for example, is an entity or an object, right? So let's make uh, let's make a new class called tileable, and we will uh, make a dictionary called uh, I don't know entities or objects. If you want, and uh, let's call this tileable.cs. All right, and you are we are zip file dot definition. And let's make a new namespace, file.entity, uh, for example, and uh, tag about, right? Um, so in it, what? Oh. Oh. Um, let's, uh, uh, so we need a table as a position of this view, right? And we also have a definition. So the position will be a vector to uh, int, right? Because it's a time map we are making. Um, so let's uh, vector to int position, right? Uh, and let's do a protected set because we don't want to be able to set the position outside of the tileable. And uh, let's also make uh, uh, tileable def, uh, def, and uh, right. And let's uh, create a new class called uh, ground now, right? Um, And save this uh, and let's make a constructor uh, and let's uh, make uh, this dot position again position Oops. position and step def again def right uh, we, we want to load our definition for so now we have a definition of ground. The ground is just tileable, right? With a position and definition. And for now that's it. Um, but we want to be able to load of our definition from the code. So let's make a new class in the definitions and uh, call this uh, devs or yeah. <coughs> let's call it. Um, Well, yeah, let's call it devs. Uh, and this is going to be a, so we will need dictionary, the system, that collection, the generic, right? And uh, uh, this will be a static class. Um, and basically what we want to do with a static class is have a dictionary for each entity, right? Have a dictionary uh, of definitions for each entity uh, type. Um, for now, we don't really have a type, but uh, so let's make a dictionary uh, with a string and a table def and call this grounds, for example, right? Uh, and uh, this needs to be static also because we are in a static class and let's make uh, so we need to be to be able to uh, add a ground uh, from code and uh, because later we will uh, load our ground for example from uh, json files or xml files i don't know yet uh, and uh, and we also want to be able to load our grounds right so let's make uh, this uh, 
So let's make a, a drone first. Um, yeah. And basically, we just uh, so yeah, that's not going to work. Right? Uh, we just do this, right? Uh, because we set the UID uh, in the load, and uh, we just uh, this way we can do some cool stuff like uh, dev dot grounds dot dot, for example, right? Um, so this is kind of nice. And let's make a static function to load uh, grounds from code. And uh, so let's uh, set our dictionary, right? Uh, and uh, let's add one. Let's add dot, for example, right? Uh, so uh, in the ground dev, we have um, we have a layer. So layer dot ground. Right, and we have what? What else we have? Um, and we have some graphics. And graphic is just uh, texture name, material name, size, and color. And this is uh, already default to tileable, vector red, and white. So we just need to set the texture name basically. Um, so graphics again, new graphics def, and. Uh, Texture name like uh, dot for example, right? And uh, oh, and you need uh, we need the UID also, obviously. Uh, so this is uh, this will add uh, this uh, dot ground to our dictionary. Right. And now what we can do if we go in our manager. We can uh, do using file.definition and uh, in a way just uh, load the ground from code. Right. Um, so now I guess you know, we need a map and the time map, right? So let's make a new namespace called. Um, world right file dot world and let's make a map that's yes yeah. and uh, yeah is a uh, and for now this is uh, going to be empty right but uh, Let's make a new one too and uh, call this uh, tile. Right? Um, okay. Uh, so now uh, we need to sing. Um, a tile will need a position, obviously, and uh, uh, maybe a reference to our map. Right? And uh, the tile basically is a container. So uh, in a tile, we uh, have uh, a container for each layer in layers, right? In layer, uh, layer is our enumer, right? Uh, in each container, we have a tailable object. So this is quite nice because uh, now we, we can see uh, we need a dictionary for that. And we even know the capacity. The capacity of the dictionary is a count of layers. Uh, so let's uh, use uh, system.collection.generic, right? And let's make uh, this. So the position is quite simple. Here, uh, let's use Unity Engine. Right. Uh, position is a uh, vector to int, right? Because we are in time map. Uh, the map is just. Uh, uh, we do we need this to be public or private? Uh, yeah, this can be public, right? 
Uh, and this dictionary is going to be uh, private, actually, and I will explain why. So, dictionary of uh, layer and table. Oh. oh, and we need to use. Um, And we need to set a name, obviously. Uh, let's call this toy labels. And we need definition too, because layers. Uh, right. And now let's make a constructor. Right. Uh, so a tile will have a position and a reference to our map. And let's see it the dictionary. Right. Uh, so now we need to be able to add the tileable to layer. Right. So let's make a add the tileable to a layer. Right. And we also be able to del a tileable from a layer. And we also want to be able to. Uh, get a tailable on a layer. So let's make uh, some functions here. Um, let's do uh, add tailable first. And uh, we'll add a tailable. And let's... So we need uh, to be sure the layer is empty, right? Uh, so to do this, uh, we just uh, can check if we have... Uh, uh, if the tailable uh, dictionary contains a key, right? So if we don't, we need to add. If we do, we need to throw an error or something. Uh, so if uh, this dot tailables dot contain key tailable dot def dot layer. So uh, here we add dot add uh, tailable dot def dot layer and. Uh, level right and uh, we just return after that and uh, if it's not the case we throw new system dot exception yeah um, and uh, uh, let's say the tile dot add tile level to know where this is and uh, trying to add a, a tile level on a full layer on a layer on a yeah, on take any position. Right, something like this. Right? Uh, we just need to know this is an error, right? And uh, then we'll do later, but we'll just do get for now. Click uh, void get tailable, and we need a layer, and we need to check uh, if we have something on the layer. So is it the tailable that contain k layer? Right, and this is the case, we work on this detailable layer. And if this is not the case, we just work on it. And basically, that's our... Oh, that's not right. That's, uh, that's our tile class for now. Let's do the map. So the map is just... Uh, uh, we need a size, right? Uh, we need a list of tiles. And for now, that's it. And we did some. We we'll want to be able to do map dot x y to get the tile uh, x y or map dot uh, vector to in dot zero to get the tile at zero zero. So we we'll need this stuff, and we we'll need uh, also ability to be able to be to do a for each tile t in um, map, for example, right? So we'll need an enumerator, right? So um, and uh, yeah, that's all. So the size is going to be a vector to int, right? But why not? Let's say the unity engine. Uh, vector to int, right? Um, so uh, let's call this size and. Uh, and the uh, title is going to be a private actually because um, uh, we are going 
going to make some getters, like I said, right? Uh, and we need a constructor also, uh, public uh, map uh, in place, in height, right? And uh, this dot size, yeah, in the to in place, right? Right. Uh, and uh, we'll set tiles also. Right. Um, so uh, I'm uh, using a one-dimensional array because I'm going to flatten it, flatten uh, the array using uh, something like uh, and this uh, equal uh, x dot y for width, right? Uh, but uh, you can just uh, well, let's uh, explain this a little. Right. Uh, So I'm flattening the array here using something like right. You can just uh, do uh, private type. If you don't want to do this. This is a little bit faster, but like not really. But it's just uh, the way I'm used to do this, right? So do whatever you want. If you do a 2D array, you can just do a... right. But me, I need to do to do this uh, right. Um, so yeah. Uh, Yeah, do, do, do whatever you want, but um, I, I have a tutorial on this on my website, fireworld.net. Uh, the tutorial is called uh, Edge Blending or something like this, and I explain this much better. So, yeah. So, let's make the getter, right? Uh, so, uh, we need to... Uh, check if uh, x and y are okay so uh, we can't have a negative x and we cannot have a negative y uh, also and uh, we also need to check uh, x is unfair to this dot size dot x and y unfair right and if all of this is true we just return um expression And uh, if not, we are uh, not on the right. uh, Why is this not working? Yeah. Uh, and this is the uh, same, actually. So, except we are using a vector 2, right? And we can just use the previous one and do this uh, v.x, v.y, right? Um, Yeah, and this is a, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is a, this is just called the previous one, right? And for the for each, we want to do public and tab, yeah. and we just want to do for int x x plus plus same for y. And we just want to do y one this x y yeah, one. Uh, yeah. 
to that's it for the getters and numerator for map. Uh, now we want to make uh, something like, um, well, we want to initialize this to uh, tiles, right? So we can just do this here, right? Uh, so everything is null right now, so we can't use our numerator, uh, I don't think. Uh, so let's just do this. So now we have some tiles, and uh, for now we want to make uh, everything to dirt, right? So let's uh, make a temporary method. Um, let's call this uh, temp everything is dirt. Yeah, I'm not inspired for the name, right? <laughs> so. Uh, And now we initialize that our array, so we can just do for each tile, uh, type in this, right? And this we call the enumerator, and uh, we'll get uh, all the tiles. Um, so what do we want to do here? We want to set the, to add the tile. Uh, so tile dot add tileable, uh, and we need the new ground, right? Uh, so we need, uh, well, actually we need get file definition and file entity. Um, so here we need a new ground, right? Uh, let's uh, up. So the position is a uh, tile that position, right? And I don't need, if we, I don't know if you need the position in the one, but this can be useful. So I'm going to let this for now. Um, and the definition is that it's just dev dot uh, runs dot and yeah. So yeah, that should work. So we have no way, no way of testing this. So let's uh, go in the game manager and um, let's uh, use. Uh, world and make a public map map right uh, and uh, right start uh, this dot map uh, map I don't know 150 by 150 right um, and let's debug this dot map and we are going to override the two string of map just to be sure you uh, we have a uh, a map uh, all right uh, oops and uh, yeah so that's our map and uh, we need to be able to display this right um, so let's draw this with gizmo for now. And uh, yeah. and uh, in the next episode we'll make the texture for the dirt and uh, the mesh. And, yeah. So void on our gizmos. Uh, let's start the private field already because we don't want to draw if the map is not uh, ready. Right. Uh, okay, we need this to fall, so, um, Well, actually, we are going to do this here because. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Gizmo that draw cube is from the center, right? So, we need to add. Uh, 0 0.5, I think. Yeah, makes sense. So, um, for uh, 
file t in this.map. Right. Um, if, uh, well, okay. We, we are going to test we have actually a ground in our, so let's do ground equal uh, ground g equal uh, t point get tailable layer dot ground, right? And uh, this is, uh, we need to cast it to a ground actually. But, um, and this is a for each, obviously. Uh, so, if we have a ground, and uh, this is useless, right? This is just a waste of time because we know you, we have a ground, but to test it, uh, like, uh, we need to be able to see something. So, gizmo.drawcube, uh, g.position, but yeah, uh, vector tree, sorry, uh, g.position.x plus dot five and uh, g dot position dot y plus dot five. This way we can check uh, the our ground is uh, good and uh, at the right position. And for the size vector tree. Uh, uh, and this should work, I guess. <laughs> Let's check Unity, right? I think nothing is going to work. Uh, So I have my game manager with the game manager script. Let's press play. So we have a map, but no gizmo. Why? This is the right name, right? Let me check in uh, Google. I think it's the right name. Yeah, and ready is true. Oh, hmm. yeah, you see, this is a, uh, it's good we did this because here we didn't set the run to dot, dot, so we need to set uh, everything is dot with the many, uh, yeah, uh, because we did, uh, sorry, I, I didn't uh, help tab. So uh, we need to do this here, right, set to everything is dot, because if not, it's just empty tiles. So it's good we did this here, right? So let's check now. Yeah. So now we have our map, right? 150 by 250, as you can see. And for now it's just gizmo, but in the next episode we are going to uh, set the meshes for this, the texture, the material, right? Maybe we'll subdivide the map in region to not have huge meshes. So this is kind of cool, right? Um, yeah. So hope you enjoy. Uh, please follow me on YouTube and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if we, you like this tutorial and you want uh, me to advance faster, uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.